following program was recorded at the annual Smart Ops Forum held this year in Chicago. I'm pleased to welcome Editor-in-Chief of Supply Chain Brain, Russell Goodman. Joining us for a conversation today on synchronizing a global supply chain is Luciano Miranda, Senior Supply Chain Consultant with Celestica. Luciano, welcome. Thanks, Russell. Smart Ops and Celestica have had a relationship for some time now. What has that relationship meant to Celestica? Well, at Celestica, we want to be recognized for delivering the most effective and innovative supply chain in the industry. And tools such as Smart Ops are helping us delivering that. Smart Ops particularly is helping us synchronize our global supply chain. Supply chains today in the industry are getting more and more complex and, and extend throughout the entire globe. Uh, what Smart Ops allows us to do is to optimize all our inventory levels so that we can deliver a specific required uh, customer service level that our customers demand from us. Mm. Basically, you can, you can look at it as uh, from, from defending against forecast inaccuracies. And you can defend and forecast inaccuracies in segments, or you can defend it as a team. Mm. By a team, what I mean is a holistic supply chain, where instead of defending against it with just finished goods, and then sub-assemblies on their own, and components on their own, or the RAWs, you actually do it combined. And you do it in a way where it expands, again, throughout the globe, where you have relationships, where you have feeder sites in Asia, perhaps, that are feeding uh, sites in the North America. Mm -hmm. uh, before, this would be done in a segmented manner, where North America would do their own, and then Asia would do their own, uh, and then try to connect. This is now done all at once. So it gives us a huge uh, advantage, and it allows us to give better service and value to our customers. You know, a word that comes to mind is synergy. What synergy do you think that Celestica has achieved through this relationship or through the processes that you just described? Well, when we deploy the tool, we don't just deploy the tool. We actually deploy it as a process. So we actually are able to look at and view the entire supply chain in one shot. And what that allows you to, to do is when things are visible, sometimes low-hanging fruit appears. Mm. And you're able to not only optimize your supply chain in the algorithm that Smart Ops gives you, but also look at ways to more effectively and efficiently manage your supply chain. And this has been a great asset to Celestica. Uh, we have an example where we work with a customer, and when we looked at it, there was some aspects of their uh, bill of materials, if, if you would, mm -hmm. that perhaps could be improved in the way that they would manage it. Through this tool, we were able to put a case study that basically to show our customer to say, look, if we manage it in this way, you will get a benefit, not only in inventory or working capital improvements, but also in the delivery that you will see to your, uh, to your end customers. I would imagine that at Celestica, you are seeing some changes in uh, supply chain behavior as a result of this process. What are these uh, uh, changes? Walk us through those. The biggest change in the behaviors is that you go more into a proactive supply chain instead of a reactive supply chain. So when you look at this whole ordeal is you, you're looking at it you're trying to get ahead of the curve. In supply chain, and especially in our industry and, and our business, things change very, very rapidly, very quickly. So we need to always stay on our toes and try to anticipate what these changes will be. This tool allows us to do that. As well, one of the other things that it helps us with is the fact that it takes the emotion away out of some of mm. these decisions that sometimes are made in a supply chain, mm. right? And, and a perfect example is when the planner runs out of a part. The planner runs out, makes a decision, I need to put a lot of safety stock on this because I don't ever want to feel that pain. When you actually look at it from a historical point of view, that point that he or she made that decision on may have been just one single data point in time. Mm. So another aspect that Smart House helps us make better decisions based on data instead of on emotion is because we look at the entire history of what's happening. So we don't make a decision based on just one data point, but we make a decision based on a collections of, uh, of data points. You know, earlier we were speaking about reorder points, but uh, ROP is usually a static value. I guess the question to you is, how is Celestica using ROP now in this volatile environment that you're talking about? So 
At Celestica, we actually used to use uh, static reorder points, so reorder points that would change once a month or once a quarter. Partly uh, uh, the reason for that was because of the length of time that takes sometimes to calculate these reorder points, particularly when you're doing a global supply chain. Mm -hmm. What we have done now is, because of the volatility that we face, is we are actually looking at doing dynamic reorder points. And we've done this, we've implemented, and we've seen great value come out of these dynamic reorder points. And the reason for that is, again, to get more proactive, to get the latest information that we have and apply it to our supply chains as fast as we possibly can. I would imagine that uh, most viewers are saying, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm considering uh, working with smart ops, but I want to know about the benefits that a major company like Celestica, you know, has derived from that kind of relationship. So walk us through that. Walk us through the benefits that you feel is something that has flowed from the relationship that you have with this developer. So one of the benefits that we got, and I'm sure the audience wants to hear about is, did you save any money? Well, did you? Right. And we have seen improvements in working capital. We actually seen a, an improvement of about uh, 10 to 15 percent, depending on the supply chain. And, and the, the improvements will be different depending on the type of situation that you're walking into, right? If you have a lot of fat in your supply chain, then your benefits will be larger. If you're running a leaner supply chain, uh, maybe your benefits will be a little bit uh, lesser, but you'll get different type of benefits, maybe some intangible benefits. One of those intangible benefits is the fact that a lot of us sometimes look at inventory and on-time delivery. Mm -hmm. But when you actually strip that down, inventory and on-time delivery are symptoms of something else that's going wrong. And with the tool, we're able to at least focus on one of those root causes of those symptoms, which is forecast accuracy. If you had perfect forecast accuracy, you don't need this tool, sure. right? If you had perfect forecast accuracy, your on-time delivery would be 100%, right? Provided that you could build and then ship as, as, as you're requested. Mm -hmm. um, but because we don't, that is not a reality, uh, the tool allows us to help and collaborate with our customers on forecast and forecast analytic, right? So these are really big intangibles that really allow Celestica to give further value, further supply chain intelligence to our customers. And, and, and even if you're applying this internally within your organization, internal customers, which could be your forecasting group, uh, to again, deliver the on-time delivery that you want, get the product when you need it and when your customers want it. The bottom line is for Celestica, yes, we've seen an, uh, an inventory improvement, a working capital improvement. Uh, we've seen that improvement without sacrificing on-time delivery to our customers. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've seen a little bit of an increase in, in the service level. But also, we're, again, giving them a more value for what they're getting out of Celestica because we're able to act as an extension of their supply chain and collaborate with them. And I've been part of that and, it, and it's a very gratifying process when you actually are able to work with a customer and break through the barriers of, of, of you know, the supplier customer relationship and work together as a team. Um, so I'm looking for many more improvements as, as we continue to deploy this tool throughout our many customers at, uh, at Celestica. Mm -hmm. And again, being our goal to deliver the, give the customers the most value that we can give them for their money. Luciano, this has been a, a valuable view into a very important uh, relationship. Thanks for speaking with us today. Thanks, Russell. Luciano Miranda, Celestica speaking with us today about synchronizing a global supply chain. Thanks for watching.